vast explosion at a chemical factory at Flixborough in Lincolnshire killed 29 people. More than 100 were injured. Throughout the night, the blazing factory had lit up half of Lincolnshire. At one point in the night, experts tested the dense smoke cloud to see whether it was poisonous, but the heat was so intense it burned off the poisonous elements. Before it was established the cloud was safe, police evacuated about 2,000 people from seven nearby villages to special centres. One was a marquee erected for Scunthorpe Gala. It was here they spent the night, looked after by police and volunteers. At dawn today, the hundreds of firemen who'd spent the night fighting to get the blazing factory under control got the first clear impression of the extent of the devastation. Then, as for most of today, it was a case of controlling rather than putting out the fire. The danger all day has been that the fire might spread to other tanks of chemicals that could create another huge explosion. The flames and smoke have made it impossible to establish the cause of this, the worst explosion disaster since the war. They've also hampered the search for the bodies. 23 are still missing, probably in the control room at the center of the complex, which rescuers still cannot go near. The force of the explosion was enormous. It wrecked every car in the car park by the plant and left it a scene of twisted metal and debris. Damage to towns and villages nearby and up to 20 miles away has been estimated today at several million pounds. Houses within a few yards of the factory took the main force of the blast. Some people in Flixborough village said they'd always feared an explosion like this. The damage has spread over a wide area. A massive program of aid by social and welfare services is already underway to restore normal life after the Flixborough disaster.